What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews and in this video we're going to talk about Superman issue number nine. This one is written by uh, Joshua Williamson and the art is done by Bruno Redondo. Normally works on Nightwing but he seems to be working on a Superman issue for this maybe one off or whatnot but the artwork is quite good i liked his artwork in nightwing uh the la end of the last issue had superman defeating the chains but he ended up getting injected with some sort of kryptonite poison and he's been kind of a rough condition so the issue opens up with lois reading letters and it's some very tender stuff uh about superman how much he means to her we get flashing memories too and even when she gets to the last letter she's just like okay get it together lois this one's from sean uh, yes, that was totally me. I totally wrote a letter to Superman. So, <laughs> uh, wanted him to get well. I mean, we need Superman, right? So, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, we also have, oh, what's his face? The head of the Daily, or former head of the Daily Planet, if you will. Um, God, why am I, Perry White, Perry White. Jeez, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Perry White's kind of postponing his campaign for mayor because of, like, it's not the right time given Superman's absence. We also have Lex and his mom, uh, confronting him at Strikers Island. He's trying to tell him to get Lena out of this situation. She's like, you can't have her in Retrop Metropolis. You know why. Uh, but it turns out she went and she now has a job at Supercorp. And I guess she graduated high school years ago because maybe she's smart and avoided all that other stuff so i don't exactly know so like how old is lena luther in this thing is she i guess she's just some teenager i probably like 16 17 i don't exactly know in this thing but she kind of gets a job at supercorp if you will and it'll be interesting to see her and superman and all that having more conversations see how she interacts with the rest of the super family if you will uh so that all that's going on uh superman wakes back up uh he has to get some sort of suit that protects him from kryptonite and um one of the bad guys if you will who's kind of responsible for a lot of the stuff going on confronts marilyn moon knight uh the character who's briefly made an appearance i also like how superman shows up here and one thing i do kind of question about his suit is it covers everything but his face i get it's supposed to be some sort of protection it kind of reminds me of the injustice 2 armor they could get with the superman but i feel like a face shield would have been beneficial for him with this particular armor which he did take a lot of stuff out of the armor because it's he used it more for protection and not kind of the lethal stuff that Lex had designed into the suit, if you will. So they get into their fight, he kind of stops things, but then they kind of get zapped with something and they end up seemingly in the past. Uh, there's also characters who show up called Nighthawk and Cinnamon, these uh, old Western uh, superheroes, and the issue ends with them kind of getting robbed, it seems, by some sort of bandit, and it turns out to be like Superman, if you will. So Superman, I guess, is going to be going into the Old West. Seems like we might be diving more into the origins of this Marilyn Moon Knight character, and I had myself a pretty good time reading this comic book. I mean, Superman has been a very good book. Uh, so far since it started under Williamson. It's been one of my favorite ongoings for the past couple of months. There hasn't been a single bad issue so far. It's just been... It's, it's a series that I'm enjoying right now. There's the stuff with Lena, which I think Lex having his daughter there and you get to see that sort of vulnerable side with him makes things a little bit more interesting and kind of exciting. You also have the angle with Marilyn Moon Knight, this kind of newer character, and Saran kind of forced to team up with Lex and all that too. So there's a lot of various moving pieces within this comic book, but I think it's pretty exciting. And you know what? Superman in the Old West, that sounds like kind of fun. That's something I don't think we've seen all too often, and or maybe we have, but it's been such a long time that I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to see an, a Western Superman comic for a couple of issues. I'm fine with that before he gets back to kind of the status quo, if you will. So that sounds kind of fun to me. Artwork by Bruno Redondo looks great. I mean, he normally does a really good job on Nightwing. And it's nice to kind of see that vibrant colors and art style really kind of meshes well with Superman. So I don't know when um, Jamal Campbell will be back on the comic book, but I think it'll probably be in the next couple of issues, if you will. So because we had uh, Bruno come in, we had Gleb come in. I think we had a few other artists as well. Um, but Bruno did a pretty good job here. So and if you're a Superman fan, I think you should definitely be checking out the current Superman run. I think it's been really solid so far. So yeah, so far in terms of comic books I've covered this week, I've enjoyed every single one. Will that streak end with the final DC comic book review of the week coming up after this video? Only time will tell. But anyways, if you have any thoughts on this, post your comments down below. If you like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to your channel, more content, bell for notifications, all that fun stuff. And as always, take care now, bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.